Well, 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 y'all see who's back. We're back. <laughs> so anyway, we uh back with the Reggie and James uh, podcast on Vlad TV. Good show. Yep, yep, yep. So James, you know, I hate to keep beating the drum. I know everybody about tired of this drum that all the YouTube channels have been beating up on and beating, but we got to address it. <laughs> we got to address it. We got to talk about it. And so we're going to have to start talking about the Diddy stuff. No, first, let me do this. <laughs> let me give you your props. Uh-oh. Because when it hit, I've been watching everybody. Yeah. And everybody and all these different platforms is giving Reg praise, saying that Reggie Wright can uh, predicted this in December. Correct. Of last year, and here we are now. So let me let me let me give you yours. <laughs> I gave my doubt, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, you know, I, yeah. Reg. I keep telling everybody that the majority of the things Reggie say on Bomb First are accurate, and and if he said, it's possible. It's possible. It's gonna happen. He ain't been dead point on maybe two things he done said, but everything else. <laughs> no, for real. I'm giving you your props, <laughs> man. You said it when when I said uh it's gonna take a lot for them to fuck with him. And you predicted it. You was you was on point. Yeah. Well, in fairness, nothing has happened yet but some search warrants to this date when we take this. Nothing's happened but some search warrants. But I do believe he's going to uh, be taken into custody. Uh just like I did and like I said on Key D within the month. <laughs> I believe it. I and, believe it. And uh so, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just only obvious when you have all these ex-employees and these civil lawsuits and the lawsuits and stuff like that. You know, and people want to say, oh, nigga, because you the ex-popo, you the ex-cop, you and your dad and all that. No motherfucking New York Police Department or, or DA or U.S. Attorney or, you know, especially the Homeland Security. Right. Don't give a Ain't fuck. got shit to do with you. <laughs> About no Reggie motherfucking right. Right, it don't got nothing to do just with Just common sense. I, fortunate enough, I tried to tell y'all that I, is unique in a way that I haven't been fortunate enough to been on law enforcement side. <laughs> I've been in a penitentiary. I done been with music executives. And I done been with guys that was affiliated with gangs and stuff. Right. And so with that, you meet and you learn and you get a whole lot of life and common sense. Right. And that's all I was speaking from. It ain't like I got no special insight to anything or anything like that. I mean, even if you did, I mean, who's to say it would have happened? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It it happened and and just like you, everybody else see it coming. Yeah. But then you have other people that say, man, that ain't possible. Diddy got too much money. Yeah. Man, the industry don't give a fuck about how much money you got. <laughs> At all. You gone. You gone, yeah. So it, it it was just, his time is up. Yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of people are probably saying right now, it's because he pissed off the people in the highest society or the Illuminati and all of that stuff. Um, in a sense, it's true. I well, hire at, people. But no, I look at it like this. If anybody ever sold drugs, been around drug dealers or whatever, drug dealers uh, piss off the the buyers, the people that buy, the, the smokers that hang out and, and go do this and do that. Once you do that, you're going to be that free ticket that that smoker is going to speak on when he get caught. Yeah. So this is what puppy doing, but not in the sense of drugs. Everybody that he's fucking with, the Lord totem pole people and the people that's making money for him, He's pissing them off. He's doing them wrong. Yeah. So they don't have a problem speaking on this nigga. Yeah. They don't have a problem with it. So they giving him up. Yeah. You know, and y'all going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> y'all going to be like, nigga, how can you say that? Y'all know this is a nigga that put a bag on to get Tupac and Shug, uh, the incident that happened to them. I'm not saying that they paid for it for Vegas, but for the incident to happen that happened in Vegas. I kind of feel bad for the brother. I'm just saying, the way we have crucified him, how we have already have found him guilty. This this thing is this came out 
that is innocent. I'm just saying this. Let's, I'm playing devil advocate. This why, stop playing the motherfucking devil advocate. How do we know that this man is guilty, other than by words and stuff? You know he's guilty by the people that is coming forth saying that he did me like this and did me like that. Everybody ain't. Everybody hold up, that bitch. said it. That's the, the boy said I woke on. up. He said I woke up and my, my ass was hurting. He didn't say he knew it. And that it had happened? Well, you got, if your back blo blowed out, you know somebody fucks you, somebody you've been tampering with. And that ain't just the only thing mm. that, that what you call it, Reggie, you got men and women is saying the same shit. The scenarios are all basically the same. I'm just saying, how can you pull it back? It's unfortunate. That's why we fucking live in the United States of America, because we're supposed to be innocent, until proven guilty. I ain't never heard that one, though. <laughs> you I ain't mean, never heard that? You guilty you until we prove you innocent. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just saying, how do we pull it back? We done all done crucified this man. Reg, that ain't the who, point. Who's standing up from him for him? That ain't the, the point. The best person that I saw stood up for this motherfucker the whole time. Who? Fucking Ben Zeno. <laughs> it's the only person that I heard that say, man, that's cold how you black folks are sitting back. Wanting to eat the popcorn <laughs> and wanting to eat and watch a motherfucker go down. That's a true statement, though. It's a true statement with being And that's the closest that I done heard somebody stand up for him. Okay. 